And Mark Cogliano reports from Union Square. Tamsin and John, if history predicts the future, you know, Fifth Avenue, right where I'm standing by 59th Street, this is going to be packed with Apple fans in the coming days. Take a look at this. You have fans already camped out. Hello there. They've been here for days. Apple making a huge announcement regarding their iPhones today, and that wasn't the biggest news. On Tuesday, Apple Inc. made its big reveal, new iPhones and the first brand new Apple product in four years, a smartwatch, the Apple Watch. In true Apple fashion, fans waited and wondered for weeks, some for months. The news came straight from California. We have one more thing. We learned Tuesday the next newest iPhones will have bigger screens. They'll also be thinner than the older versions with much better cameras. The iPhone 6 and 6 Plus will have 4.7 inch and 5.5 inch displays respectively. According to Apple, a brand new Apple Watch will soon be available too. It will have GPS features. Users can also send messages. They can also monitor their own health right from their wrist, among other things. The fact that we can have a watch this summer and uh, keep our phone in our pocket and look at the dial of the watch and get useful information, I think that's a great step. Paul Levinson is a Fordham University professor of communications and media studies. Levinson has written about Apple. He watched the announcement Tuesday. It's another step forward for the iPhone. I don't think it was earth shattering, the announcement. In addition to new iPhones and a smartwatch, Apple also announced Apple Pay, a digital way for users to make purchases on their iPhones. This Apple product fan told us what he thought of the way Apple announces their next best things. I think it's a little overhyped. I mean, we're kind of like waiting and it's this big reveal, but that's part of it too, you know. Still, why did you come to the Apple store? Because uh, I wanted to find out when it was coming out. The new iPhone 6, that is. And you have some very sleepy iPhone fans here outside the Apple store again. They've been camped out for days. iPhone launch still just a few days away. September 19th pre-orders begin this Friday. According to the announcement, Apple Pay will be launched next month. The Apple Watch available next year.